If you find yourself in a situation where your business isn't selling more, an excellent solution is to advertise on OVM TV. More audience, more customers for your business. Advertising on OVM TV is synonymous with success with our constantly growing audience. We put your business in front of potential customers. Take advantage of the power of television to strengthen your presence. We understand the value of a good advertising campaign, which is why we offer businesses a space to stand out with content that grabs attention and delivers results. Transform your business and open new opportunities with OVM TV. Hello and welcome to New Beginnings with your host, Richard Simmons. That's me. We're going to have ourselves a revival with music, discovering the promises of God together. Are you ready? Now let's join the revival. Woo! Hello and welcome to today's program. We've got a really good show for you today. I really do mean it today. I always mean it. Faith does come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10 says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. That's very important. Hello, Stacy. Hi, Richard. I had to, I wanted to share that right away because this um I love that. S- Sunday we went out, you know, feed the homeless. We mm-hmm. go every Sunday. And uh, last, now the last program we had um, Zach Evans on talking yes. about the, the Broward, you know, um, FCA. Right. Where they go out Christian to Christian athletes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Association. Now, yeah. he went, the whole team got saved. He led the whole team to salvation, isn't which is pretty. Wonderful, isn't that youth, wonderful? Yeah. Youth, yeah. I love the youth. Well, you know, I'm oh, youth. Yeah. I'm, I'm really a teenager, you know. <laughs> At and, heart. <laughs> yes. And um, anyway, so, but we went out s- Sunday. We go up to feed the homeless and help to feed them. You could be a part of that if you'd like to. But I want to share two quick things. Okay. Um, we were standing there and one lady was speaking with um, one of the guys on the streets. And I'm looking for my... There it is. One of my papers. A guy. She was speaking with a guy in the streets, and she was saying to him, you need to be saved. Yeah. And uh, she's telling me how important salvation is. Well, you need to really get saved. And then she said to him, so do it soon. Yes. So I'm standing there, and <clears throat> what came to my, my mind was the scripture that today is the day of salvation. Absolutely. So I turned to the guy, and I said, well, you know, today is the day of salvation. You don't know if you'll be alive tonight or tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You, you want to accept Christ now? He, he nodded his head. So I said, well, Romans 10, 9, told him what the scripture said. Let's pray. So we prayed. He asked Jesus into his heart, and he prayed and got saved. Angels amen. were cheering. Because in heaven, when you get saved, the angels applaud and cheer. Yeah. Amen. And then, but his countenance changed. After he, you know, prayed that he was happy and asked Jesus for he felt peace. You could see it all over. He smiled yeah. and he hugged me. He was so happy. And um, and I was thinking, boy, to, don't let opportunities pass by. Today is the day. Now yeah. another man on the street, he got shot at twice this week. This past week, he was yeah. shot at That's twice. Dangerous. My so God. he came to me. See, on the street they call they call us the God Squad. Some of them call me just me. They call me the bank robber. And then, or the promise guy, you know. <laughs> so they go, hey, Bing Robert, how you doing? Good. X, X, you know. But anyway, he goes, hey, do you have a promise to help me? Because, you know, last this past week I got shot at twice. And I said, yes. And, and I gave him um, Psalms 9110. Psalms 9110, I gave him the whole Psalms. If you make God your dwelling place, you know, that God, no evil will befall you. No sickness, no plague can come near your dwelling place. And he gives his angels, God gives his angels charge over you to keep you, but but protect you in mm-hmm. all your ways. Yeah. So I said, just remember Psalms 9110, that God sent his angels to keep you and guard you in all your ways. That's Because when you're in an emergency, if, we, if you're on the street getting shot at, you know, you don't have time to th- think about the whole thing. You just need one quick thing. God, you said you give your angels charge over me. That's what he needs. It's the word of God. It is. And... It really works. The word of God is true and alive and pure, and it really works. Yeah, well, I know that for my. We're we going to share. Yeah, we know that for a fact because we are both born uh, born again Christians. Uh, thank you, God, for that. And I want to ask my audience out there, our audience, are you in need of a savior? Do you feel that you have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God? All of us have, 
and we are all in need of a Savior. And we just have to take that invitation. We need to seek out Jesus, learn the word, read, seek him out, and he, you will be saved. You confess with your mouth, as Richard said, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, and you will be saved. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Now, on the streets, if if you'd like to come out and help us, mm-hmm. I want you to give Wes a call because Helping Hands Ministry is, is what they— um, the, the the guys on the street call us um, the God Squad. You yeah, know? yeah. Except a few of them call me the bank robber. But anyway, if you want to join and what help a, us out, on what a name. you can come out and join us. It's really it's really a blessing. That's not the name above all Give names. Give Wes a call, 561 yeah. area code 929-9163. That's 561 area code, West Palm Beach number, 929-9163. Call them, tell them that you want to come out and help feed the homeless. It's really a blessing if you can help oh. hand food out. What an organization. You, get, you get to talk with the people. You can pray for them. We pray for them. And uh, it, it's really... It gives them something to look forward to. They don't have... Every it. Sunday. He's yeah. been doing it for like six, seven years. Yeah. And he buys all the food himself. Yeah. Now, Publix gives out all the bread and the, and the desserts. Some goodies. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we eat good out there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, oh, give Wes a call. Amazing. Check us out every other Monday right here. We're Coming to you live from the beautiful studios in downtown Doral. Woo! <laughs> OBM Studios. We are here every other Monday. You can join us on all the social media platforms. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, X, formerly Twitter. I'm getting it right. All of them. All of them. Hentamax on Roku <laughs> and Television. And now TikTok And OBM as well. TV. And also TikTok. TikTok, yeah. TikTok. We had over a thousand views on TikTok just, yeah, just recently, really right? You know, Richard and I were Ch- just regular people like you. Well, <laughs> some... We're kind of like, I'm not really regular, if you know what I mean. I'm a little abnormal, but... We just want to give you the Word of God. That's what we do with a compassionate heart. I remember when I uh, when I was on the streets and I was, you know, cuckoo. But um, there was a sheriff, a broad sheriff that used to come in. He used to date one of the people at the bowling alley. I used to hang out in the bowling alley. It was mm-hmm. the place I'd go and they'd come and they'd buy guns from me or drugs. Or if they wanted to go to certain parties, they'd pay me. I'd tell them what party to go to. I was like a scammer. You know, I was a, the guy that was out there hustling, right? So one day I go to Tom, the sheriff's deputy. He, he was became a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. He was a good guy. Mm-hmm. I said, Tom, what is a signal 20? And a signal 20 is, of course, you know, mentally ill person. So I said, Tom, what is a signal 20? And he looks at me real seriously and he goes, well, it's and looking like this, Richard Simmons. You know? <laughs> but he did it in a comical way. Yeah. He, he knew I wasn't offended yeah. by it. But, yeah. but I, I, I used to get a lot of laughs from him. Yeah. Well, your name on the street was Crazy Rich and you were doing things, but then God delivered you from all that. If you, Praise the Lord. If you have confessed Jesus today as your Lord, just recently or today, just yeah. now because of this program, and you need a Bible, I want you to email me. My, my producer will have the email on the bottom of the yeah. screen. It's richardsimmons14 at gmail.com. Those of you that are just listening, if you're just on you know, um, YouTube or And, and you can or ask us YouTube, any question you want. We'll be happy to answer. Email me, richardsimmons14 at gmail.com, and mm-hmm. I'll send you a free Bible. I meant to bring them in. We yeah. bought some Bibles to give to you for free. Uh, if you're a lady, we have something like pink and white and Black Bibles for the guys, you know, unless you guys want a white Bible, we got some white ones too. Um, you can send any requests to um, OVM Radio, care of Richard Simmons, P.O. Box, 942078, Miami, Florida. Right. 33194 is the zip code. And that comes right to us in the studio in Doral and coming very, very soon. Maybe even by Chris, I don't know how soon, but. But soon. 101.1 FM. Woo! How do you say it? La Primera Radio. You have l'espanol? Si. You sound good. Yeah, me, me, me. Yo hablo espanol un poquito, but I need a professor. Hey, uh, you don't like waiting at the emergency room, do you? I don't even like to go to the emergency room. Nobody room. does. But if you need to go <laughs> yeah. and you would like to get in and out and not have to go to the emergency room, go to the Medics Urgent Care, and they're in Lauderdale Lakes. They, they treat you in and out very quickly. Call the doctor, mm-hmm. and she will... Be sure to mention you heard it on New Beginnings, Richard Simmons. Give her a call for an appointment or just walk in, 954 area code 484-8444. And where's she located again? Lauderdale Lakes, 441. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. And um, if if you have any immigration issues, mm-hmm. be sure to call my friend and um, Jamal. 
Hinkson. He yeah. specializes in, in that. immigration law. Yeah. So if you um, say you had a green card and you had to leave and go back to your country because your card expired, yeah. call him. He knows how to get you out and help you. He's been doing it for over nine years. Yeah. He's really an he's expert. Expert. I'm not mm-hmm. saying just because he's no. a sponsor. He really is, but mm-hmm. he's really classy and a nice guy, and he'll help you, and he cares too. 786-309-7038 is his phone number. He's in Plantation right behind the um, the old Sheraton Hotel, the mall there. Now they have a mall there. Uh, you mean where the Broward Mall was? No. Is? No. Sheridan Hotel, where, oh. you, where your doctor went, where you went with your foot doctor. Oh, okay. We have a special promise from God. Proverbs 23, 16 says, now this is the word of God. Don't listen to what Richard says. Listen to what God says. Yes, my inmost being, God speaking, yes, my inmost being will rejoice. Woo! When your lips speak right things. When we speak right things, God rejoices. Think about that for a moment. Yeah. That is awesome. Isn't yeah, it? We should always speak in love to everyone, you know, never in condemnation. That's not what we're about. We just want to bring the word of knowledge. Speaking of. Of the Bible. Um, you, and you started reading this book, too. You, you said yeah. you were enjoying it. Oh, um, yes. The, from yeah. Our friend, Pastor Emil Mullins, wrote yeah. a book called, entitled um, Religion, the Trojan Horse of Christianity. Yeah. It's available on um Amazon? Amazon, yes, yeah. thank you. <laughs> um, it's very good book. Yeah, and I've been enjoying it. Yeah, it's me a Very too. good book. And yeah. uh, he, we're going to have him on sometime. He's so knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable. And he was, um, he l- l- listen to this, he was a drug addict, a drug, a drug dealer, dealer uh-huh. and then he got saved and became a pastor, and he's been all over the world, and really a remarkable person. Oh, yeah, amazing. We got we got to have him come on and share yeah, God his, his testimony. God used him in a mighty way, and he's just, you know, spreads now, the word. Christmas is right around the corner. <laughs> it's my favorite time. October, it, for weather, October is my it's favorite pretty. month. It's pretty. It's a beautiful time of the year. Yeah, but Christmas is my favorite time. Now, mm. Stacy, we're going to play the song today. Yeah. You know, the department stores and grocery stores, they already had the Christmas stuff out. Oh, so sure. we might as well start early. And we do something here on this program that no one's ever done before. We always do things first. That's why 101.1 FM is called what? La Primera the Radio. First. The Woo! first. I can't hardly stand it. I can hardly stand myself. <laughs> He's a good chief. Anyway, uh-huh. um, what was I saying? Christmas. Yeah. So she wrote a song, and we're going to play the song today at, uh, during it's the show. It's a very happy song called Christmas Time. Yes. For and everybody. Now, she wrote it. Now, here's the cool thing about it. You have your friend Kim singing it. There's a special friend, Kim Salinas, who's singing it. And a beautiful vocalist. Now, now and Rick Preeby. It produced it he and produced everything, it and arranged and d- it, arranged and did it. a whole deal on Stacey it. Stacy wrote all the words and melody and the music, but he puts all the music yeah, together. He's and the range. genius musician now, behind it. Now, he travels, he, he does the music for mm-hmm. Lulu, who retired but came out of retirement. You know how that is. When you retire, I guess you get bored. you got to go back into work. And so you, you get retired, then you come out of it. So Lulu came out of retirement. She, I think she retired for a week and said, I oh, forget this. I need to get out in front of the audience. And then also— She misses it. And also— um, um, Dina Martin. Dina Martin, um, he, he, Dean Martin's daughter. Mm-hmm. So he produces Dean Martin's song. Now here's the neat thing about. I think he's playing it for Dean, Dina Martin. Yeah, but, he's but so here's talented. the here's the neat mm-hmm. thing though. Dina Martin's saxophone player, Rick got Dina Martin's saxophone player to play the music on this song. Yeah, and you're what gonna a job. love it. <laughs> you, you're gonna hear it the very first time here on OBM. <laughs> Woo! We do I things ho- first. I hope it brings joy into your heart. That's what Christmas is do. coming. Yeah. Remember, Christmas brought hope. When Jesus was born, he oh, came to bring us hope and yeah. life. And salvation to the world. And health. A dark world. And deliverance. Mm-hmm. And if you need to be healed, delivered, and saved, he's the one to call on, Jesus. That's it. He and, will hear you. And he will. He's waiting. I don't he know if we you. have time. I was going to share a little bit of my testimony, but I need some water. Yes, I hear it. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> it's time for a switcheroo. You're going to read something while I drink my water? Well, you know, I was just going to, yeah, I can read a little something while you're taking a drink of water. A little something. About the law. You know, <laughs> the here law. we are all bound by the law. In this, in our land, in our world, we're all bound by law. You break the law here, you pay the penalty. Some penalties are higher than others. You pay with money, you pay with jail time, you pay with probation, whatever it is. 
But Jesus came to fulfill the law for us because we inherited that sin from Adam and Eve a long time ago, and it's just in our nature. We're separated from our Creator. But Jesus came to this earth. Jesus was fully man and fully God, took away, suffered, and died for us. That's such a powerful love. We could never grasp it all. And we are free. We just need to take the invitation so that we know in our last days or whenever it happens, you know, we know we will be with him, Jesus, for all eternity. Yeah. That's life everlasting. What is greater than that? Nothing. You know something I, I was thinking? I've been reading Psalm 7, 8. I've been, I spoke about it before. And every time I read it, I see something different that I didn't see before. And you know me, I think I know everything, but I don't know anything. But I, I was reading Psalm 78, and it talks about the Israelis when they were in, in the desert. Yeah, and, when he was taking them from Egypt. But but he fed them <laughs> angels' food. Men ate angels' food. It says mm-hmm. it right in Psalm 78. you got to read it. It's really it will bless you. But then all that he did for them, he parted the Red Sea. I was thinking about that this morning. He parted the Red Sea. Now, think about it. Your enemies are coming after you, chasing you, and they're going to try to kill you. And you come to the end, edge of like the ocean. Say you're in Fort Lauderdale Beach or Miami Beach, and you're at the end on the shoreline, and there's nowhere to run, and your enemies are coming behind you to kill you. And what does God do for the Red Sea? He departs it. He opens it up. He made the the, the, the water the water split, and it in heaps it went up. Now, as a kid going through it, you, the kids I'm sure are looking at all the fish. The parents are probably focused on getting across, but the kids are probably looking at all the fish, you know, because they, they can see it. And the enemy and but the neat thing, another miracle that he did, you know, when the ocean, the water. When it's on the sand, when, if if you take the ocean, the water, and it splits open, that and, and God makes a walkway, you would think it would be mud, right? Yeah, like so, sink it. You could yeah, sink well, it. Well, water makes things wet, and it's yes. like mud. Yes. Now, mud slows you down. So if they would have had to walk through mud, they'd have to make big steps, and it would have slowed them down. But God made the ground solid, and they walked they were able to walk across fast. And then as they went through, then the, their enemies came after them, followed them. They, they went, they followed them, and then God closed the ocean up, and they they all drowned. Only in killed all, every one of them. Only an all powerful God. The can reason do that I'm like that. the reason I shared that. Yeah, God is the same yesterday, today, mm-hmm. and forever. Yeah, we need to fear God, not in fear like afraid. Oh, you know, but the fear but, of the Lord is the beginning respect. of wisdom. Yeah, but out of respect. Yes. I'm, I, I, I'm trying. I don't want you to be afraid, but you should. We should be. Yes. But, but out of respect. But they forgot that, and they forgot that God fed them, you know, he- he- angels' food, yeah. he- manna from heaven. Yeah. He sent them, are you ready for that, meat, as much as the dust is of the earth. Yeah. It was so much, and he sent them fowl, like the s- sands of the sea. Yeah. F- sent them so much food, they couldn't even contain it, and they were full. And they didn't even have to go to the grocery store. He dropped it right in their lap, right where they lived. Yeah. And they still forgot it. They would complain and and test God and tempt God, and it made God furious. And then it said that they did not believe in God. When they, after all he did for them, they would, hey, can you still do this? Can you still do it? Can you still meet my our needs, God? Can you still? And by them saying that made God furious, but it also was a sign they did not believe in God. But God, in his mercy and compassion, remembered that we're just flesh. That's right. And he, and he s- saved them. But because they didn't believe God, it says in Psalm 78, read it yourself. It says that they limited the Holy One of Israel. When I read that, I thought, man, if I don't believe God, I can limit him doing something in my life. Now, God's unlimited. There's nothing God can't do, but there's nothing that he won't do for you. Think about that. He loves us so much. And when Christmas I, is coming. He yeah. gave his son for you and me. <clears throat> the Read world. That. The world. Read that. Mm-hmm. It, it'll bless you. Yeah. Don't limit God. Believe what he says in the Old Testament, in the New Testament. Believe it all. Everything that he did, he has not changed. You and I have changed. Faith comes by? Hearing. And, and hearing by the word of God. That's we it. have to hear it over and <laughs> over. over again. 
she has to hear me all the time. And you know what she says? I know, I heard it. Yeah. I go, you got to hear it again. Okay. You know? anyway. And we read every single day. We, that, t- we try to stay in the Bible every day. We read, we find something new. Without that book, can you imagine we have that book to know about life and what Jesus did for us? It's amazing. If we didn't have that book, we wouldn't know anything, but we do. I, we have it. It's key to be in the Bible. Absolutely. Which is the Word of God. I have the, I, I have, I think I mentioned it, I don't know if I mentioned it on the last program or not. I found out how to hear the audible voice of God. I did mention it. Oh, my producer's shaking his head, <laughs> not nodding. <laughs> yeah, I, I might as well say it again because there's so many news listening. I found out how to hear the audible voice of God. You know how to do it? I'm going to tell you. It's so exciting. <laughs> and it's so simple, we miss it sometimes. It's reading the word of God. Yeah out loud because what happens when you hear God's word when you read it out loud to yourself you hear it it goes in your ear you hear it goes into your heart comes out of your mouth goes back in you're hearing it over you're you're building your faith and when you're hearing the bible which is God's word you are hearing the audible voice of God (laughs) now that's just my thinking I think the Holy Spirit showed me that you know I'm not a scholar I'm just um Hey, I'm an ex-bank robber, drug addict, and drunk, and um, a stu- homeless a, person. Regular people. But now I have the spirit of the living God. The yeah. Holy Spirit dwells inside of me. It. And I love you. And Jesus loves you. Yeah. We love you. Yeah. And we got to get to your song because we have about eight minutes That's left. It? Can you believe it? Oh, my gosh. You did a lot of talking. <laughs> <laughs> God is so good. Jesus he, says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He gave his believe only, begotten, yeah, he gave his only begotten son for you. That all you have to do, all you have to do Turn is believe Turn from this it. world because it's got nothing to offer you. Now, really Stacy, yes. this song is two minutes and 30 okay. seconds. We're going to play this song. Yeah. And I imagine my producer might have, you You do an awesome job on those, the yes, song. The, thank the, you the videos, so much. Yeah. The pictures that he puts up. Oh, and yeah. The, is, uh, I enjoy the songs just watching them. You can, <laughs> you can watch the song. Imagine, hey, I just had an idea. You can watch the Word of God work in your life. By speaking it. And then you're going to watch God work his word in your life. Yeah. Because he watches over his word to perform it. Where? In your life. That's when it. you speak it. Now listen yeah. to this. This is the best part. When you speak God's word over your life, not only does he perform it in your life, but he performs, he performs it in the lives of everybody who hears you saying it. Because God said let there be light. Yeah. And there was light. That's it. That's how simple it really is. I can't wait. Christmas is coming. Tell me, how long ago did you write this song? A couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, like a good friend um, and my special, special friend, like family, Kim Selena, she's singing it. She's got a beautiful voice. Listen to this beautiful song. I hope you song. enjoy it. Y'all, you're going to enjoy it. I want to bring g- joy to you. I'm already for confessing the it. You're going to enjoy it. But it's a beautiful song. It's cute. And it's upbeat. Listen listen to the song. We'll be right back. (laughs) Christmas time. Oh, Christmas time. A favorite time of the year. Family and friends are gathering. Spread holiday cheer. Happiness in the air Christmas time Oh, Christmas time Favorite time of the year Jingling in the sleigh bells ring A tree light in Times Square Children waiting Anticipating for Santa and his reindeer To appear There's happiness in the air Christmas time, oh, Christmas time A favorite time of the year 
Welcome back. Wasn't that a beautiful song? I love that song. Thank you, Richard. That, that is so beautiful. Thank you. I think that's one of your best songs. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you want to go out shopping, doesn't it? Well, that's what the grocery stores do and the department stores. I bring good memories to people, you know, and Christmas. peace and love for the joyous Christmas season. Christmas is a good time. Now, maybe like me, maybe you've had Christmases that were not good. I've had my share that were not nice. Mm -hmm. And I've spent a lot of my Christmases locked up in a cage or a cell. But I want you to know that God loves you so much. He gave his only son. If you're a father, you might be able to relate to this. He gave his only begotten son, Jesus, just for you. If you were the only one born, the only one alive, he would have came just for you. He loves you so much. He loves us. I know that he loves me. I sometimes think that I'm his favorite. <laughs> Although God's not a respecter of persons. Right. What right. he does for one He'll we do for all, another. We are all children of God. Now, I'm not talking about hype or religion or nonsense. No. You know, I'm not telling you to send me all your money, all this no, nonsense. God, no. I'm telling you what God says. Mm -hmm. And if you get in the Bible, the Word of God, you will find that God will. Matthew 7 7. Thanks. Jesus, Jesus said, Ask, you shall receive. Seek, you shall find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. Whoever seeks, whoever well, asks, God. Receives, whoever seeks, we'll find. finds, and whoever knocks, the door will be open Believe. for you. Think about that. Mm -hmm. It's so simple. It really is believe. that simple. All we have to do is believe mm -hmm. and then speak. What See, God calls things aren't as though they are. So you might be going through a tough time right now. Maybe I hope you're not. Maybe you're sick. Maybe you're going through you know, difficulty with finances but or sickness or your children. You're not, not, alone. not only are you alone, but if you're a child of God, you've got promises to get you through it. That's what's so important. Make you stronger. It's, it's the Word of God. And the Word of God, the Bible, God's Word, needs to be coming out of your mouth, not just my mouth. It's good to hear from my mouth. But when you say it, it comes out of your mouth. You hear yourself saying it, and you are hearing God speak to you. Isn't that awesome? And faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing. And you begin a relationship with your creator. It's the most amazing thing you'll ever do in your whole entire life. I want you to get a copy. We have to order some more books. Yeah. We wrote a book, and you can read my life story in an hour if you're a, an av avid reader. If you're a yeah. slower reader, you can do it in an hour and a half. Not <laughs> saying too much, right? We we edited it. We cut, I, I let out a lot of the extra nonsense because there's a lot of stuff I could have put in it. But I don't want to bore people. But right. we wrote a book. My producer will have it on the screen, I'm sure. Yes. Um, maximum security is a twofold meaning. Maximum security meaning I was in maximum security, but maximum security means I have maximum security with Christ, and your with, savior. with God, yes. my Savior. Mm -hmm. And um, God has done a lot of things for me, not because I deserved any of them, because I don't. We had communion the other day at church. Yesterday. And I I cried. And I, I'm not trying to act like a wimp or anything. No, because you but feel when I it. Think, you know the sacrifice When I made. think about what I went through mm -hmm. and what God's done for me and what he's put up with for me, you know, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. And not only is it amazing, but it's wonderful. God really does. The when love. I When I found out that he cares about me and that he loves me, he cares about you and loves you. It's genuine. Just everybody. as much as he loves everybody. me and you, everybody. He loves us so much. Mm -hmm. And there's... I love this. There's nothing he won't do for you. All we have to do is ask him and believe. Now, you have to do it, as you mentioned a while back, with sincerity. It's always you sincere. Have to, not, not, not with a phony heart, like, you know, just trying to get something from God. Yeah. You need to be sincere. <clears throat> but if you are sincere and you ask, you will receive. That's it. That's what the Word of God, yeah. that's what Jesus said. But most of all, you receive a peace that you can't get on your own. Yeah. He'll dwell his spirit dwells supernaturally with you. 
It's a peace you can't describe. It's, it's, and, and lean not into your own understanding. Yeah. The Bible, that's so comforting for me because a lot of times, a lot of things I don't understand. Why would you be so merciful to me? Why would you, you know, I never really experienced real love before like that. Why? Love. He, mm-hmm. he, it's because of that. He loves. And, um, and once you know it for yourself, share it with someone else. Yeah, that's it was, we all need to share it. That's the great commission. Well, well you, you're right. Word. It's a commission, it's a commandment. We're mm-hmm. obligated. That's what we're yeah. supposed to, that's our responsibility to yes. share God's love yeah. with someone that might not have it. Yeah. We, and they need, and the, the world's hurting. They're looking. Yes. And if, if you have Christ in you, the Holy Spirit dwells in you, mm-hmm. they see it. They know there's something different about you. That's right. They might not understand it or know what it is, but they know, and they're looking, and they're watching. And how we conduct ourselves depends on how they're going to react. Because to- greater is he who is inside of me than he who is in the world. We're almost out of time, I mm-hmm. believe. We believe have it. two minutes left. Can you believe it? This, this time goes faster and faster. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't put you to sleep. I hope not. <laughs> hey, on the next program, we had something exciting happening. You have to wait to find out, though. Tune in the next program and find out what it is. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. <laughs> it's a secret, but it's going to be good. I promise you that. Remember that God is on your side. Mm-hmm. He loves you, right? More than ever. And not only that, His Word is true and pure. And remember, don't not believe in God. Believe in God. Know the story. Believe in his word. Because listen, if we don't believe in God, we limit the Holy One of Israel. Don't limit God in your life. Let's get everything God has for us. And he's promised us life abundantly. He's promised us health, prosperity, and long life. In fact, you got to deal with me forever and ever. That's a long time. <laughs> That's got to real be love there because to deal with me forever and ever is real love, right? But see, God promised us life eternal for mm-hmm. doing one thing just by believing and accepting that Jesus. That he came to this earth yeah, for you. to save God to take the sins bless away. you. God yeah. love you. We yeah. love you. Uh-huh. We thank you so much for tuning in. Tune in every other Monday right here on OVM from the beautiful studios of downtown Doral. That's I it. used to hate Doral. Now I love Doral. <laughs> but we got to go to the golf course and maybe play around. I, I got to get Steve out there with me. And I, <laughs> He's a golfer. Yeah, yeah. We're supposed to play around. I got to mm-hmm. bring him to the Doral. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, God is on your side. He loves you. And Psalms 91 says that God gave his angels, think about that, yeah. to guard you, to keep Charge. you in all your ways. Yeah. His angels are looking out for you. And the angels are mighty and big. Yes, God bless you. Sure. Remember to share God's goodness and love with somebody that might be hurting. And join us out on the street to feed the homeless with Wes. That would be good. Helping Hands be Ministry. Nice. We'd love mm-hmm. to come out and hang out with me. We'll pass out food and talk and get to know you get to know you and we we'll, yeah. can pray for people and um yeah. it's exciting mm-hmm. we love you god bless you remember that god is on your, your side. side we'll see you next time <laughs>